Hello YouTube, I'm back showing you how to put any Sony Xperia device using Doom Lord's new easy routing kit version 17. See, here's my Xperia SP. As you can see, it's not routed. I can, I can show you that. See, look. You can see that. See? Alright, so. What you've got to do is, first of all, I would make sure that in that I've got unknown sources and USB debugging enabled. So to get USB debugging, go to developer options, then it's there, make sure that it's ticked. Then go to security. Then unknown sources is ticked there. All right, now if that's done, just leave your phone for a second and then go to your computer. All right, so now you you need to go to this website. By the way, for this routing method, you do not have to have your boot locker, um, your bootloader unlocked. By the way, so many of you will probably be happy and be happy at that because even I can't unlock my bootloader. All right, so download the file. It will be really quick. Alright, and then extract it, and then it should be over here. Yeah, version seventeen. If you if you if you can see there. Alright, so open the Windows one. These two are for Linux and Macs, by the way. So it works on each one. So open the runme.win and then you should see this thing. It practically says what you have to do and what it will do. It says it, it will root your device, it will install BusyBox and it will install SuperUser. Before you begin, make sure you have installed your ADB drivers. So like it's practically saying make sure that your that your phone comes up on the system. Make sure that your speed debugging is enabled, which I showed you earlier, as is unknown sources. Now connect your phone through USB cable to your computer as so. Right, mine's in. USB debugging detected. You should see it over here. See? Alright. And I'll just put your phone to one side. Try not to turn your screen off though. Try to leave it on. Alright, now, so just shut this down. And then once it's plugged in and you can see it here. Just simply press any key, and then this sh should be happening. It shows all the devices which is compatible with this. I'll put all of them in the description later. Now, if you can grab a, um, a quick look, it's all here. Right now, it's it's finished actually. It wasn't that long. It found that my device was C five three C five three o three. Yeah, so routing. Then now it's all done. It's disconnected my phone from the system since it's rebooting. If you can see, by the way, this phone doesn't normally have Droid on it. I just changed my bootloader. Alright, so if I unplug it, 
Alright, now. Now let's check, root check a basic to see if my phone is actually rooted. Root checker. Alright. We have a root access. Let's see this. Congratulations, this device has root access. It's installed um, CPUs are already by itself, so I will show you that. Hold on a second. Oh yeah, it's it's um it's not on my device because earlier I disabled it. So, but I can but I can show you it here. Just give me a second. Uh, you can see super. SU there. I disabled it earlier. Alright, so it's all there. And your device is currently fully rooted. So I can show you once again. Root checker.